What's up, everybody? It's Matthew Conde, and welcome back to another episode. Here we are in the new town, and as you remember in the last episode, we were starting to build our new house. So, in the meantime, I have laid out the foundations of Green's tutorial. In his game, um, I'm sure if you've watched it, you notice that he put his house up on stilts. In this world, I'm not going to be doing that. So there are multi-staggered homes. This one's on the ground floor. There will be one up higher. However, we're not putting the whole thing up on a foundation. So we're going to get started here with the main house. As you can see, we started the foundation off with just some cobblestone. We're going to be trimming the edges out with... Um, uh, let's see, this is acacia logs. And then we're gonna be using acacia planks and, and other things as the build goes on. So let me get a little bit more of this built and I will come back and show you what we are doing. All right, guys, so here we have our first decisions coming up. I have the back wall up and we have to make a choice. So on this side, you can see we have the accents in acacia. These are trap doors that are acacia. Um, and then on this side, I made them out of oak. These are oak trap doors and oak accent staircases. You know, if I'm being totally honest with you, I'm not a huge fan of this texture, but this feels like too much acacia. I almost want to go find some jungle or some spruce to see how that looks in here. I'm leaning more towards this. Um, maybe let me go see if I can find some jungle wood somewhere or some spruce. I haven't seen any. So uh, let me go wander around real quick and I'll be um, see if I can find any. All right, and I am back, and I was able to find a jungle. It's just off in this direction. Let's see, this is uh, facing east. So that's direct east, that's south, so I guess it's a little uh, southeast. Um, anyways, it's kind of across the ocean over there. It took me a little while to find. I've literally been out searching for a good hour and I'm not able to find spruce anywhere. So I kind of gave up on the spruce. I came back, I put some jungle um, stairs and some jungle trap doors here. I feel like I've kind of ruled out acacia for all the accents, it's just too much acacia. And to be totally honest with you, I'm kind of thinking the jungle blends a little better than the oak does. So. Leave your comments down below what you would have preferred to see, but I'm gonna move forward with the jungle. So let's get a little bit more built and we'll be right back. The house is coming along. Okay, so we got this back portion done. Well, I mean the wall at least. We still need to clearly do the roof. We got side of the house finished. And honestly, I'm actually really starting to enjoy these colors together. Um, I wasn't wild about it, but the bigger the house gets, the more the colors are growing on me. So this is one side. We got the roof starting here. I'm going to duplicate it on the other. Um, however, I'm realizing how many windows are in this house. I haven't even made a furnace yet. I've been eating watermelon literally since day one. That's all I've been eating. So it's time to craft up a furnace. Let's get some of our coal. We're going to need to get some... Um, sand smelted down in a furnace so that we can have some glass. So let's get that going. Let's fill this furnace up with some coal. And do I have any sand? I do. So let's start smelting the sand away. Get some glass going for the windows. So I'm going to duplicate this other side over here. We're going to start building the front. And this house is coming along. Look, you can already see the amazing sunset I'm going to get out of these windows, which is awesome. Means we lined this house up pretty perfectly, so I'm happy with that. So we're going to go to sleep before the zombies come, and we're going to finish building this house. I desperately need to find 
something else to eat other than watermelon. I'm not gonna lie, watermelon is the worst. It fills up one little bar of health every single time you eat it. I got an apple, which I'm trying to save. I mean, I don't have anything to eat. Um, okay, the glass is done smelting. I have five raw pork chops. Let's get those cooked up. But I'm gonna have to come up with another source of food because watermelon is the worst. I mean, we'll figure that out here soon. But here's the progress on the house. So I got all the sides completed. Here's the front. Um, I got both of the sides. They're duplicate. They're the exact same. The back's done. All I need to do is finish the roof. So the roof's difficult because I don't have any scaffolding blocks. I'm literally using dirt to pillar up around everywhere, which is kind of a pain. Um, however, it's coming along and I'm really liking the way that it looks. So let's finish the roof off and then we can move on in. And voila! Okay, so here we are. The first house, the shell is pretty much completed. You know, I need to put the glass panes in. I need to add some flowers into these little flower pots that we have around the house. I have to do literally the entire interior. There is nothing done in here. Um, so we are going to complete this house. Um, as you've seen in Green's video, there's a second house. Uh, in this episode, we are just worried about this primary house. We needed a base to live in. We needed some storage set up. So we're gonna finish this one completely. We're gonna move into it, move all of our stuff in. Then we need to get ourselves some better armor. We're literally using this, um, I don't even know what this stuff is called. It's uh, leather, leather armor that we found in that first boat at the first house. So we need to get ourselves some iron armor. We need to start talking about getting an elytra, you know, I, you know, to be totally honest with you, I know that's end game stuff, but I like to do it in the beginning. This game is so much funner when you have the elytra you can fly all around on. There's such good gear in the end. I need shulker boxes. So we need to start shifting our energy away from the house. We need to start building some farms. We need some iron farms. We're gonna need some, we're gonna need some mob farms to get gunpowder. There's so much to do. So let's finish this house. Then honestly, we need to start going hunting for some food, some ender pearls, so that we can get going in this game. So let me finish this all off. Okay, so let's move this stuff back into the house now. Hey, what's up, buddy? Where are you going, huh? What do you got? What do you got for sale? Sea pickle, fire coral block, lily of the valley. Dude, that's kind of a cool flower. Birch sapling for five emeralds? Is this guy out of his mind? Who even needs red dye? Packed ice? Have you looked behind you, buddy? There's ice everywhere. You are no good. You wanderling. Keep wandering, dude. Go ask those guys if they need anything. All right, guys. So here we go. For the most part, we're done. A um, couple little small things like that is bothering me are these flower beds are just dirt since I didn't have silk tush. They don't have the grass on the top. So I'm not going to put any flowers in those beds or in these beds until I can get silk tush and have some grass on those. But I've added some leaves around the sides. I've added some more um, trap doors to make it look all complete back here. Um, I've started on the interior a little bit. You can see this side. This is where the top will connect inside. Um, it'll make more sense once we build it. Let me just show you the inside here. So we got a jungle door. We have jungle floors. Um, and then we also made a jungle ceiling. So these are all slabs and stairs wrapping around the outside. I've made a staircase in here that goes up to the second floor. As you can see, it's not completed. I don't have it all decked out yet. Uh, but sooner or later we will have this completed and it's going to look very nice. You know what? Let me just finish these windows here real quick. Let's just throw these together. Oh, two of them. Oh, okay. Anyways, so as I was saying, we'll do some interior decorating. We will finish this 
off one day. The main thing is we have a safe place that we can store all of our items. So as I was mentioning earlier, this will connect to another house that will be over here for additional storage or an enchanting room or a brewing room. Um, and I may even consider putting a dormer out here so that I have some windows upstairs. But as you can see, the house for the most part is completed. We've got a great little view of the town. Um, we got a safe little area down here that I'll be storing all my stuff. So I think the next item on my list was to get some better armor. So in order to get some better armor, I'm gonna, ooh. What? Wait, why, did, why was that just floating there, a lead? Yes, you need slime blocks to get a lead, and I haven't even seen a slime. So it must have been from one of these guys. I ain't complaining. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. All right, so down to the mine. I'm gonna do a nice little hour-long mining session, possibly even longer. Um, we need a bunch of materials. We need some redstone. We need some iron. We need some diamonds. Ooh, diamonds! Ooh, I haven't even found a diamond yet. So I'm gonna go down into the mines. If anything cool happens, I'll bring you along for the journey. Well, before I go down to the mine, my food situation is a real problem. So I'm gonna take this mending fishing rod that we found at the original village. And I wanted to come hang out with Mr. Turtle over here. And I just needed to catch some fish. I just need some food. I, why are you looking at me? Why are you staring at me? He's my little buddy. You don't have to name this turtle and come back and hang out with him more often. He's pretty cool. So in the meantime, I'm just going to catch me some food, catch me some fish, and cook it all up, and then I can go into the mines. So as you can see, I started preparing in my inventory down here. I got some, I got some uh, torches. I got a water bucket. Um, I got a chest. But I basically am not taking anything down in there with me other than some food in the items you saw. And I will bring back what I have collected after an hour and we can see the amount of resources we found. Alright, time is up guys. I didn't do it for an hour. I actually just basically went mining until I found my first set of diamonds. I didn't harvest it. I wanted to do the very first diamond along with you guys. So here's a little quick update on what's happened. So I've been out fishing, um, I need to get some fish, but I don't know if you realize this, if you, if you actually um, use a fishing rod, you catch all kinds of random stuff. I mean, look, I've caught an enchanted bow on breaking three with flame. I got another mending fishing rod, clearly there's no health on them. All kinds of weird little things I've, uh, I've actually caught. So the great news is, is I got quite a bit of fish. Um, and while I was while I was over here, I decided, you know, I needed to cook it up, so I've been putting it on this fire over here, which is a cool little, cute little thing. Um, yep, so now we got a little fireplace over here. We got our uh, fishing loot that I will put in the house, and let me show you what we've done. So we've created a mine shaft. I built this little trail off here that takes us down into it. Um, I wanted it to have a little bit of a cave feel to it, so I just added some steps and some slabs and um, some cobblestone. So that's kind of cool. So I took this mine shaft all the way down to Y level 12. And I'm hoping Java is the same as Bedrock because on Bedrock, as you can see, we are on Y12. Um, on Bedrock, you find the most diamonds at Y12. So all I did was create this little area. I created one mine shaft and just went straight down basically until I started finding um, some diamonds. So here's the loot I found. Not a whole lot of cobblestone, haven't been mining for that long. Just a bunch of granite, a bunch of dar darite, andrestite, dirt, all that kind of goodies. Here's the good stuff. Um, so here's our first flints. We found 15 gold ore, 25 lapis lazuli, 
Um, quite a bit of redstone dust, which is awesome. We're gonna be building a bunch of redstone components in the future. I got a lava bucket, I'm not sure why. 55 iron ore, so let's start smelting that up. Um, and then a bunch of coal that I've already filled two furnaces with, and I just wanted some plain stone. So I put some cobblestone in these, got some stone going. Um, I'll put these back over in this chest. In order to mine diamonds, you need to have an iron pickaxe. So let's get our iron pickaxe out. I'll show you how long this tunnel is. And we're gonna uh, we're going to mine our first diamonds together. So I'm not sure what I want to do with them, to be totally honest with you. I know I need to make a pickaxe, but I also want to make an enchanting table. Um, so we're gonna have to kind of think this carefully through. But here are the diamonds. So my goal is to, I think, only mine like four. I need a pickaxe. Oh, and you know what? I need to be careful of lava too. You should never just mine these in case there's a lava pit below you. So, okay. Looks like we're safe from that. Um, these should be safe. You know what? Let's just let's just get this whole batch, and then future ones, future diamonds. Hopefully, I will have fortune three on my pickaxe so that we get more than just one. So as you can see, we just harvested six blocks and we have six diamonds. If I can enchant a pickaxe and get some fortune on it, then we will be able to hopefully get a lot more diamonds a lot quicker. All right, so there's the first diamonds. Let's head back, let's get our iron and let's create some armor so that we can start fighting endermen so we can get some ender pearls. So let me go harvest that up and we'll see you guys in just a quick little second. All right, so we got all the iron smelted up and we are back in the house so we can make some armor now. And let's, you know what? Get out of here. Hey, hey, you aren't allowed in here, you little spider. Get out of my house. Oh gosh, there's creepers. Hey. Hey, 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 don't you be blowing up my stuff. No! Oh, oh boy, that's scary. Gosh. There's just bad guys everywhere. Okay, so let me kind of quickly show you what I've done on the inside here. We just got some storage. We got a grindstone up top, some storage, a furnace, crafting table, same on the opposite side. Let me just show you upstairs real quick. This is just where I got my bed. Um, but for the most part, you know, we got to just style this place up a little bit. We're going to have to style this place up. But anyways, I got the iron. So let's go ahead and make our first set of armor, of iron armor. You know, this leather is just not cutting it no more. All right. So we also need an iron sword because why not? All right, so let's get rid of this stuff. And boom, 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 boom. Let it upgrade. So now we are fully upgraded. Look at that, guys. We are all ironed out. Bing, bing. Oh, man. Okay, so this is great because now we can start hunting Endermen at night. Before, I would have just got killed. There's no surviving them. So let's go ahead and let's find our first Enderman because we need an Ender Pearl now that we're all decked out. So let's fast forward to nighttime here real quick. All right, here we go. It's getting dark. I hear them. I hear them. I hear them making noises. All right, so we are looking for an Enderman. Oh, I better eat. This will actually be a really good test because I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see at night on the YouTube video. So um, let's test it out. It's <laughs> very dark for me. I wonder if I can put the torch on my left hand. No, I guess that doesn't work. Huh. All right. 
This place is kind of lit up. Oh gosh, there's already creepers and I can't even see them. guys, I got my eyes on one. Let's draw him over here. Let's draw him over here into the open. Okay, here we go. Here we go, guys. Oh god, I hope he doesn't kill me. Ah! Ah! No! 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 What about my armor? I had iron armor. Gosh, are you telling me I need diamond stuff? I feel like the sword, I feel like I'm not hitting him. Oh no, not right by the fire. All right, give me all this stuff back real quick. All right, put this on. Give me that. You know what, this guy is going down. I feel like I need to, yes. Yeah, take that and boom guys, check it out. The first, whoa, that's scary. That noise is freaking me out. That's scary. But guys, check it out. We got our first Ender Pearl. Yes! This is so awesome. And guys, it looks like we are about out of time. But how fun was this episode? I mean, ah! We got creeper holes. We got our house built. I mean, this, ep this series is coming along. That was a lot of fun. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please click that like button. If you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing because we are just getting... Ow! Ow! We are just getting into this series, guys. It's going to be awesome. So come back for the next one, and I can't wait to see you then. Until then, peace!